Great day. So I wanted to show you what is, in my opinion, one of the coolest things there is out there about Graphene OS. Graphene OS is a modification of the Android Open Source project with some hardened security features and privacy features. And this is the there's a bunch of different things it does that's really cool, but this one I think is worthy of note. So you can give applications different permissions in Android. For instance, you could say this application can access my files, this one can't. But one of the things is that I may not want it to access everything. If I have a journal on my phone, if I have folders of personal photos, if I have voice recordings with loved ones, I don't want it to have access to all of that. I only want it to have access to the shitpost picture that I just made. So let's say I'm on Discord and I want to post a picture. So I hit the little plus icon over there. Now you either get allow or don't allow, which is a binary. I'm either going to allow this application to access everything or nothing. Graphene OS has something called configure storage scopes. And when you enable storage scopes, you can tell it to only allow Discord to see a specific folder on my phone, and you can even limit it to a specific file. So if I click add file right now, I can literally say the only thing that I want it to see is this, like right there. And then I hit select. And now I go back and Discord only sees that one file, not everything else, which is great. I, you know, again, I may trust the app enough to let it see certain things on my phone, but not everything else. And I've yet to see a different mobile operating system that gives you this level of granular control over everything on your phone. This is amazing functionality. And it's, again, it's part of the reason that we at Fudo gave them the grant that we did so that they can continue the development of software that's this cool. I haven't seen this on anything else. Anyway, check it out. The web installer is pretty easy. You could find it on their website along with a nice little guide on how to install it. Again, the one, the one downside here is that this only works with pixels right now. So, you know, if you want a phone with a headphone jack, sucks to be you. If you want a phone with a micro SD card, slot, sucks to be you. But from what I hear from a bunch of the developers I spoke to, the Android open source project typically uses the Pixel as its test hardware. So if you are going to build a mobile operating system based on the Android open source project, using a Pixel is the best way to ensure that you have some level of hardware compatibility that actually works because that's what they were using when they released it. And also there are certain security features that you get with it that you don't get with others. I'll be honest with you, I'd be willing to give up some of the security features just to have my freaking micro SD card slot back because I don't know, having to do this cloud shit is killing me. Like the, the idea that, oh, I have one bar in Verizon. Let me run to the other side of the street before I load a picture. Like, nah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not feeling that. But I've got something coming that I'm going to be reviewing over the next few days. It's this iBlades case. They make something that plugs into the phone that then gives you not only an extended battery, but also a micro SD card slot because these phones have USB-C on the bottom. So you plug it in and you get a micro SD card slot and you get an extended battery. But the catch to that is that that's, only, uh, that's available for the Pixel 4a 5G I have, but not the Pixel 6 Pro, which I'm recording this video on. So anyway, that's it for today. And as always, hope you learned something. And I highly suggest that you check out Graphene OS because they, are pretty, they have a bunch of pretty cool stuff going on. I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.